Hey guys, it's Hannah from Guyana and today we are going to be making a traditional dugout canoe. We have found a big enough tree of suitable wood and cut it down. And now we need to call in the expert canoe maker. Canoe making is a traditional skill passed down from father to son. First thing he has to do is measure and mark the tree. Now he's ready to make the first cut. Traditionally, the entire canoe would be made by axe, but nowadays we have modern tools to make the job easier. He is cutting and shaping the tree into a canoe. This tool used to dig out the canoe is called an adge. Our canoe is taking shape. Now we have to take the canoe from where it was cut down to the boatyard. This is where Uncle Solo makes all his boats. Now the canoe has to be pulled up to the working area. Now we're ready for phase two, where we will stretch and widen the canoe. First, we have to insert spacers. When the canoe is heated, it makes it pliable. <laughs> the canoe is heated and stretched by the help of the dry leaves of the ite palm. The mission tractor work way? Think so. Never go on the ball who buy. You gotta hide that truck and go like all this fun. Yeah man, that will get two nice big ball who they might open but like eight feet. <laughs> big body. This process is repeated with larger and larger spacers. This may look easy, but it takes years of practice to perfect the art of making a canoe. We have to add more spacers now to make it bigger. The canoe is nearly finished. This is the last burning. Now they're scraping off all of the excess ash. Any defects are filled 
with wood plugs. This is Kariman. It's the gum of the Mani tree. It is heated up to seal any cracks or defects in the canoe. The tradition of passing down the skills of canoe making from father to son is still alive in this family. It's finally time to add the seats. Ta-da! Our finished canoe! Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye! Until the next time!